Yes, heck yeah! Okay, so this is my boil kettle here. I didn't do too much uh, video on this because this beer already wanted to boil up crazy. Um, and so since there's so many hops in here, I really didn't want to try to run the camera and everything else. I'm using a, uh, a hop bag here. This net here, you can get the brew store, whatever. There's other things you can use, and just because your uh, racking cane and stuff will get plugged up, and it's just more junk that you can't. This really makes it hard to bottle, uh, and you're gonna have enough yeast and trube and stuff in the in the bottom of your fermenter anyway. So I figure I'm gonna use this net that I bought. So all uh, three additions are in there: the uh, two ounces of um, Bravo, the two ounces of Cascade at 30, and the uh, Probably ounce and a half of glacier I just threw in to finish it in the last five ten minutes here, and uh, I also use this. Uh, this is my Idafor. There's a bit of iodine in this water just to make it uh, sterile as well. You can use tap water that's sterile, but I, I didn't really need it actually. A little bit boiled over because the head on this beer was incredible to begin with, um, just in the pot, just as it came to a boil. Um, but just you just need a small rolling boil in the corner. What happens is it generally uh, looks like it's dying down, then it boils up again, and then it calms down and boils up. And then you want to be very careful because it's pretty cold and I can't stay out here. It's like probably close to 15, 20 below out. And uh, anyway, so that's my boiling. Pretty simple. Um, with this many IBUs and uh, this much, uh, this high of a gravity, it's pretty hard not to get this to boil over. So if you can get a bigger kettle, that's great. Beer's and I'm out. Yeah, yeah.